What's up, fellas? So today we're here to break down the text game. And I know a lot of you guys been needing this text game and shit. I got a phone strategy video on YouTube, but this is a little bit different. And, and a lot of the young guys been asking me about the text game. I get that most women like to text now and really don't like to talk. I get that. That's the era we live in right now. We got a short attention span and shit like that. And it's easy for um, bitches to juggle five to ten dudes. So for all you guys wondering like why women like to text and not talk on the phone, it's because so they can text ten, they can text back and forth between ten fucking dudes. That's why they, that's why a lot of you guys are running into that. All right, they can't talk to ten different dudes, but they can text ten different dudes. All right, that way they can get their attention from ten guys at one fucking time. So guys, well you know the text is 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 uh the gift and the curse. The gift is you ain't gotta talk to those annoying ass bitches. All right, that's the kid. You ain't gotta sit there and. You know, hear they fucking, you know, bullshit all the fucking day and shit like that. So that's the gift. The curse is you don't build up that rapport. And so you might, you more liable to get a flake, all right? Because she had, she doesn't get a taste of your personality. So let's say hypothetically you met a girl at the club or at the fucking mall or whatever, right? And so, you know, the phone was to build up a little rapport to where she starts to like your personality. Guys, looks only mean so much to women, maybe like 30%. Personality maybe mean 30%. And, you know, what you're doing with your life and shit like that probably means like 30% or whatever the case may be. So you can fraction each one of those in there, 33%, 33%, 33%. Finances, personality, looks, all right? And so with you being able to talk on the phone, you're able to use your personality. You can't use your personality through text. And, I'm, and you know, if you try to be funny through text, guys, I'm telling you, you don't know how somebody might interpret it, all right? So they might take it wrong. You might admit it one way, but when shit gone through on text, it might come out another way to where you were saying something nasty or saying something, you know, that sounded vulgar. So please do not try to be a joke man on the fucking, uh, through text messages, all right? It's not the way to go. Now, I got my fucking notes because it ain't no way in the hell. Once I started talking and trying to break down each talking point and explain each talking point, I already know I was going to forget where the fuck I was at. All right. So when I, whenever I do a video like this, that I know I got a lot of talking points to explain and shit like that, I make sure I get my notes because I know you guys take this shit serious. All right. I'm pretty much the mouthpiece for all the guys around the world who take this shit serious. All right. So the first thing you guys need to know is. I categorize uh, the women you text in two categories, high interest and low interest, all right? Because you're going to get two different reactions from each one of those groups, all right, guys? So first off the bat, the high interest girl, you take her out on Saturday or whatever the case may be, or let's say you got a, her number at the mall Saturday, she probably either text you that night or she going to text you the next day, all right? She more than likely she gonna send an initial text, the real high interest girl. All right, not all the way, not all the times. All right, but if her interest is crazy high, it's more than likely she uh send an initial text. And the thing with this is, guys, that first text you want to respond to it three to four hours. Now, here's the thing, guys. I you know I've been saying this for the longest. I don't want you sitting at the house playing video games, looking at your phone, fucking phone, talking about some AMS said, text this bitch back in three to four hours. I tell you guys to be on your purpose, be dating other women, have a social life for abundance. So I want you to thoroughly be busy, really be busy. I don't want you to be bullshitting, all right? This is the thing where I tell you guys. I want you guys to live a social life of abundance, be on your fucking purpose, date other women, all right? It's more than just being on your purpose. I want you dating other women. I want you enjoying time with your friends. I want you fucking busy. I want all my guys out the fucking house feeling sorry for themselves and outside fucking these hoes to sleep and on a purpose, all right? I want you guys genuine, high-value males, which means that you have a very busy schedule. And obviously, if I'm on a date with another girl, I'm not about to stop doing what I'm doing to take some girl I met two days ago back, all right? She'll have to just wait to the date over, all right? I'm on a fucking date right now, all right? And another reason why, guys, you don't want to be stopping what you're doing to respond to people texts and shit like this because let's say hypothetically you out with a girl and she see that you responded to texts on a date with her. Well, when she texts you, she probably going to be wondering like, well, what the fuck take you three, four hours to respond to my texts? It seems like you have no problem. Stop doing what you're doing to respond to texts. All right, guys. So understand that the streets is always watching when you're on a date with a girl and then you go to respond to text right away. But you take three, four hours to respond to my texts. Okay. 
So she already know you full of shit, all right? Because you do stop what you're doing and respond to texts, all right? So never respond to texts while you're on a date, guys. You want a woman to know that when you're doing something else, that's what you're doing. And she's just going to have to wait, all right? That's the thing with that. So a woman with high interest, he initiate contact, things like this. This is where a lot of guys mess up. After you respond to the initial text, guys, do not try to wait another three, four hours to respond to the next text, okay? All right? The thing with this is you want to respond after you broke initial contact. Now you can respond back every five to ten minutes, all right? You don't want to respond back in 30 seconds to after, you know, each text, all right? Because that's too, too fucking available. But five to ten minutes, you want to respond back to the text, all right? And you'll see a lot of guys, they try to go do three, four hours again. So, guys, here's the thing. Women have a natural abundance mindset, all right? They ain't, they ain't like most guys. Pretty much every girl that looks halfway decent have an abundance mindset, all right? And she's getting hit on by other guys, all right? But for whatever reason, whether it's the way you look, the way you walk, the way you talk, something about you, she got high interest in you, all right? Now, a woman gonna go start thinking to herself, I got all these dudes trying to fuck me. Why am I sweating the dude who's responding to my text three, four hours after each fucking text? All right, do y'all guys get that? All right, he responded back, then he took four hours to respond back. I responded back, then he took another four hours to respond back. Do y'all guys get that? So a woman gonna start to think that I'm dealing, a, dealing with a dude who has low interest. Guys, uh, women have a natural abundance mindset. They just gonna move it on. They have a natural abundance mindset because they always got somebody trying to get in their pants. So anybody who has it like that, unless she's a girl that look like shit, but if, she, if she's a seven and above, she got dudes that's trying to get in her pants. So her natural instinct is, why am I going to run behind a dude who ain't really trying to, you know, show me any kind of interest, all right? So, you, you know, after the initial uh, text, you can respond back every five to ten minutes to after each text, all right? You don't, listen, don't run that game on a girl with high interest, guys. I'm just telling you that shit. Now, I've done that shit in the past and tried to do all that shit and tried to act like I was too unavailable and shit like that. Each time, the girl lost interest. You can do what the fuck you want to. Now, am I saying this going to happen to a girl that's like a five or a six? Probably not. But if she an eight, nine, or ten, guys, and you try some shit like that, and she got 50 dudes trying to get in her pants, let's see how that work out for you. You hit me back, and you let me know how that work out for you. I want to see how that work out for you. That's not going to work out for you, guys. Anybody who got options ain't going to take no bullshit like that. All right? So now that you responded back every five to ten minutes, you know, all right? So never set a date on the initial text, all right? So let's hypothetically say y'all ain't went out yet. Let's say you met her Saturday and she hit you up before you hit her up because I tell you guys to exchange numbers, all right? Say she hit you up, all right? Don't set a date right then, all right? Don't set a date. You want to wander a little bit. You, you can get to know each other a little bit back and forth through the text or whatever the case may be, but don't set a date right then. You let off the hook too fucking easy, all right? Because she's thinking in her head, damn, I want to see him again. That's what I want. You want to build that anxiety. You want her ass thinking. This is what's going to make her fall in love with you. Because now she has something to think about. He ain't asking me out. That's what you want. All right? You don't want, you ain't your ass out yet. Let her ass want Let her think on it. That thinking about it, why she ain't with you. Because she's going to be thinking about it. When I'm going to see him again. This, that, and other. Because she don't want to ask you out. You know, she, you know, if she got crazy high interest or something like that, she might say, you know, so when are you free or uh, you got a lot going on? She might try to initiate to push you to ask. But... Unless she asks you out, you're going to hold that card. Let her wonder. Let her sleep on it. All right? That's what's going to build that anxiety. This anxiety is what causes women to fall in love, guys. All right? So I know a lot of you guys, when you you know, you know do things, you want to show a woman certainty. All right? Certainty to a woman is the opposite of love. All right? Women fall in love with uncertainty. This is why I tell you guys don't validate women. All right? Because when you validate them, you're giving them certainty. And so when they get certainty, they start to feel in themselves, and then they start to turn to little bitches. Uh, you want them uncertain. Uncertainty, that anxiety is what causes women to fall in love with you. All right? You don't want women to know where you, they stand with you. All right? So now, here's the thing, guys. Um, if a woman with high interest is, um, has an, is initiating contact, it's okay to go back 50-50 uh, on the initial contact. So let's hypothetically say... You met her Saturday, she hit you up Monday, text you Monday, initiated contact. Okay, it's okay 
to initiate contact with her on Tuesday. But the thing is, you want to make statements, all right, not conversation. So theoretically, if it's me, I hit her up on Tuesday and I say, hey, good afternoon. Uh, have a productive day. Don't work too hard. Talk to you later. Something like that. I made a statement. I don't say, hey, what's for lunch? All right. I, you know, now if she started that, then that's fine. But I'm going to make a statement, all right? Because I don't want her to think I'm needy, all right? So you don't want a woman to start thinking you needy, like you need conversation, like, you know. So you're going to make a statement because she initiated contact, so you initiated contact. This is for high interest. You ain't going to even get no shit out of this out of no low interest women, all right? You, you can forget about it. You ain't going to get no shit like this out of low interest women. You're going to be doing all of pursuing, 100%. But the high interest woman is okay to go back and forth. Now, here's the thing. Don't initiate contact twice in a fucking day, ever. So if I hit her up initially on Tuesday, and okay, she she asked me, okay, thank you, uh, have a productive day. Also, I'm not gonna hit her back 6 p.m. So how was your day? Or uh, hope you had a wonderful day. I'm just getting home. Bullshit. No, 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 no. Now see, now you are going the wrong way. All right, now you're showing too much high interest, and now her interest don't start going this way. All right, so you want to show her that you are interested, but you don't want her to start seeing you got too high interest. All right, because now she's gonna start losing interest. All right, because she's starting to see you where you stand. She's starting to see you like her a whole lot. All right, so you don't want to show her that you like her that goddamn much. So initiate contact one time per day. All right, one time per day. Now, you guys already know no emojis, no feminine texts and no bullshit like that, all right? Now, here's the thing, guys. Don't initiate contact uh, two cons consecutive times. So let's hypothetically say you hit her up on Tuesday, good, good afternoon, hope you have a productive day, and she responded that, and then she don't text you Wednesday, and then you text her, initiate contact again on Thursday. No, 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 no. We ain't gonna initiate contact no more until uh, she initiate contact. Also, on that second time, when you initiate contact on Tuesday, you can go and ask her out. All right? So you can go and ask her out for uh, what's her availability. Always ask a girl for what's her availability, guys. All right? Always ask a woman what's her availability. All right? That way you don't get boxed in and seeming too available. And what I mean by that, let's hypothetically say you say Tuesday, you ask her out and you say, hey, are you available Saturday? And she say, I got a party Saturday. And now she's like, but I'm open Friday. You see how available you seem? You see how you don't box yourself in as in looking like you ain't have shit to do this weekend, all right? And you accept Friday, she can lose interest, all right? So always ask a girl what's her availability. She might say something to the effect of, I'm free Thursday evening and Saturday evening, all right? And pick which of those days that fit your schedule, all right? But don't just uh try to offer a girl a date all right I always ask her her availability all right? i should have, i meant to been tell you guys this all right but you know why i haven't been told you guys this because i i just got back to dating all right i told you guys i've been on my purpose for like this last seven months and so i just got back to dating and i i asked the women what's their availability and i was like i gotta remember to tell the guys because i just been dating my same old girls all right so i just got to dating you know different girls and I made sure that I made sure I tell you guys, always ask a girl her availability. Don't ask her, are you free Saturday? Because if she say, hey, I got a friend party on Saturday, now you fucking boxed in because she might say, well, I'm free Sunday. And then you're like, okay, so, so, it, oh, so you ain't had shit to do the whole fucking weekend. You fucking loser. All right? So then she started thinking like, well, maybe he don't look as good as I thought he looked. He looked cute, but, you know, if he was that cute, why would he be available the whole fucking weekend? All right? So always ask a woman, what's her availability? All right? That way you don't box yourself in. Very important, guys, to keep your value up. All right? The whole point with a high interest girl is we're always trying to keep our value up. She sees us. We do it for her. The way we walk, for whatever she see the confidence and she see the swag, you don't want her to go to start shit testing you and she start doubting your value. Being available the whole fucking weekend, uh, anybody going to start a value. Um, debating your value what's your value and when i say value your sexual market value and what i mean by sexual what i tell you guys by sexual market value it's not about how much money you got it's not about how big your house is it's not about how many abs you got it's about how many other how many other women want you that what determines your sexual market value in other words if you 400 pounds and you live with your fucking mama but 
every girl in your city want to fuck you, you got a high sexual market value, all right? It don't matter what I think. I'm a dude. You trying to fuck me? It don't matter if I think you got low sexual market value. Women determine your sexual market value. So if you 400 pounds and every girl in the town want to fuck you and you work at McDonald's, it don't give a fuck what I think. I'm not fucking you. It matters what women think. Women determines what your sexual market value is. So if she perceives you as other women keeping you occupied, then she, your sexual market value is high. If you free the whole fucking weekend, how much sexual market value you could you have? I want you guys to just think about it, all right? You so fucking high value that you got the whole fucking weekend available. How many high value? You think Leonardo DiCaprio got a whole fucking weekend available? Huh? You think that? You think Jamie Foxx got the whole fucking weekend available? Huh? You think he don't got nothing to do with no other girls and nothing else going on? He just free the whole fucking weekend. He just sitting around the house with nothing to do on the fucking weekend. Huh? Do y'all think Justin Bieber ain't got nothing to do the whole fucking weekend? He free the whole fucking weekend? All right, so if you put yourself in a position where you available the whole fucking weekend or you show you too available, the woman starts down your sexual market value. She starts thinking like, well, I thought he was hot, but I guess the other women don't think he hot. So then you start looking less attractive to her because... Women attraction to you is based off what other women see you. So in other words, like this, guys, when you go out with a woman, she's watching other women to see if they scoping you out. All right. So, you know, a lot of times y'all guys be on dates with women and shit and you wonder like where the interest went. Well, she went out with you and she didn't see no other women scoping you out. All right. So her interest for you drop. So y'all guys got to be aware of that. When a woman goes somewhere with you and all the, and when you walk in the room and all lies on you, oh man, her interests will go up. Like, damn, man, they want this motherfucker. Your interest, but if she could take you somewhere out and y'all go to a club or a lounge or whatever the case may be, and she look around and, and like, you know, she just walking straight ahead and she don't see women like you don't, she see you don't turn heads, her interest in you gonna drop. That's just the bottom fucking line, guys. I don't know no other way to explain it. If you go out with a woman and you start turning heads, she can have low interest in you. Watch what happened to her interest. Because she see other women want you. All right? So that's the bottom line with that, guys. Women determine your sexual market value. So if you're too available, then obviously you ain't got many other women, which means that you got low sexual market value. All right? That's the bottom fucking line. So... And all this thing, all this shit, guys, is instinctive. They don't think about it and shit like this. This shit is instinctive, all right? So that's the bottom line with that. All right, let me make sure I ain't forgotten nothing. So it's all right. Longest, longest she's still pursuing, say you text her Tuesday, she hit you Wednesday, initiate contact, then it's okay for you to do Thursday, all right? That's the bottom line with that. Now, the low interest woman, uh, let me make sure. Hold up one second. Let me get my notes. All right, so this bitch here ain't going to do nothing, all right? She got fucking low interest, all right? So you need to know that right off the bat. She ain't going to do nothing. You got to do every fucking thing, all right? The little selfish bitch. All right, so here's the thing, guys. For whatever reason, physically, or whatever the reason, the, your personality, whatever, she ain't blown a fucking way. And I know some of you guys might think you want to walk away from these. Guys, listen, that... I would say at least 50 to 60% of the women you go out with is going to have lower interest, all right? Now, if she's willing to go on a date with you, that means that you, 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 she can see herself fucking you, all right? She can see herself fucking, fucking you, but you got to raise her interest. And for you guys say, oh, it might be an attention whore. I'm going to tell you guys something. An attention whore don't go on a date with you. Attention whore do everything but set a fucking date. All right, it's the difference between a woman with low interest and attention whore. The woman attention whore would try to do everything to use you for your non-sexual attention, but won't set a fucking date. The girl with low interest, which is just a step above the attention whore, I mean just a slight step above the attention whore, well, she sees you, she, she can possibly have sex with you, but you got a long way to go to get her interest up, all right? And the bottom line like this, guys, if you got a woman with low interest, you just didn't raise her interest. And that's fine. You know, ain't nobody going to lose no sleep by not raising no bitch interest. But you did a horrible job over raising her interest. And frankly, if you got a lot of options, maybe you don't even care. My thing is, uh, I want to fuck them too. All right? Because, my listen, guys. If you over here just to fuck high interest bitches, man, listen. Unpledge right now and save your fucking money. That's what you paying me for? To fuck bitches that got high interest? 
That's what you paying five dollars for. You paying five dollars just so you can fuck bitches who got high interest. That's what you're doing. You need me to teach you how to fuck a bitch that got high interest in you. Really? That's what you're paying. You wasting your fucking money. The whole point of alpha male strategies is to get bitches that are on the fence, not bitches that see you as a fucking demon god. All right, that's the fucking point, guys. We want to learn. We got it. You got to learn how to fuck bitches who don't exactly panties get wet when they fucking see you. If all you ever want to fuck in your life is bitches who got crazy high initial interest, then what the fuck you following me for? What's the point? The point is, I'm teaching you guys how to get these bitches that are on the fence. Anybody can fuck a bitch that got high interest shit. Hell, you know how bad you got to fuck up to fuck bitches with high interest? Man, you know how bad you got to be? Man, you got to like trip and fall on a date 10 times. You got to over pursue to the max. Man, you got so much fucking room for error with a bitch that see you as a 9 or a 10. That is fucking ridiculous. I hope ain't none of you guys over here just to learn how to fuck bitches that got high interest. I'm, I'm teaching you guys how to fuck these bitches that see you as a 5, 6, and a 7. Not a 8, 9, and 10. You don't need me for that bullshit. Hell. Yeah, you don't got you probably a bitch that see you as an eight nine ten. You probably you probably set the first date to come to your house and have fucking Netflix and chill. That's easy. I want you to fuck those. Listen, I told you guys when I was uh, came to YouTube, I was already dicking down twenty five women a year, but I left a lot of ass on the table because I couldn't fuck the bitches who was lukewarm interest. I didn't need no. I didn't need to learn game and shit and improve my game to fuck those twenty five bitches. They just saw me as God. So it's easy for me not to fuck it up. What I wanted to know was those bitches that, I, that was on the fence, I wanted to know how to fuck those. And I would have some girls that would have crazy high initial interest and, they would, and I would lose it. I wanted to learn to fuck those. But that was rare. Most of the time, I wanted to just know how to fuck the bitches that would, that would go on a date with me one or two dates and then they'll fizzle out. I wanted to know how to improve my game to fuck them. I ain't need nobody... I ain't need to learn no damn game to learn how to fuck a girl that see me as a nine. Shit, I could be homeless on the fucking street and fuck that bitch. All right? So I want you guys to know game to fuck these bitches before you go, well, I ain't, I ain't fucking with no low interest bitches, man. I ain't got time for that. Then what the fuck you over? You need me to teach you how to fuck a girl that see you as a nine or a ten? Man, you know how to bad you got to fuck up to fuck up with a girl that see you as a nine or a ten? That's what I'm here for, to teach you how to fuck these motherfuckers. All right, so... First thing you need to know, guys, is you ask her availability and shit like that when you make the text. She ain't going to do no pursuing. Now, here's the thing, guys. With this one right here, she sees you as um, low interest. So, no double texting. No double texting. This is big with the low interest girl because you'll text her five hours, six hours, seven hours. This bitch will text you back the next day sometimes, all right? Never double text. Now, here's the thing, guys. Don't get butt hurt off of her slow response or her next day text. I'm telling you it's going to come, all right? I'm, one thing I'm trying to get you guys over is to start getting butt hurt because a girl don't got high enough interest where she just dropped down and starts sucking your dick on the first date, all right? I'm trying to get y'all guys over that bullshit where you butt hurt because a girl ain't blowing your phone up and showing crazy high interest. Get over that bullshit, all right? So this girl got lower interest. She might text you the next day. You butt hurt, you mad, you don't want to respond, you want to block her number because she took the next day to call you. Uh, little baby, you'll get a bill and wipe your tears and she took the next day to call you and she got no interest in me and she took her 12 hours to call me. You fucking bitch. Listen, the bottom line is this right here, guys. The woman has lower interest in you, so you somewhere at the bottom of the totem pole. Keep the fucking dates cheap. So you don't put your investment into her because there's a good chance that she just feels things just fills it out. But the thing is, if you display high value techniques, you go out, you stay in your masculine frame, you own your purpose, which means that you're going to be able to pass all her shit tests. One of the shit tests is double texting because she's going to take her time responding to your text because for some reason, whatever the case may be, she doubts your value. I don't know why, but she doubts your value. Maybe it's something you said or did, but she kind of, or maybe you just don't do it for her physically. It's, it, don't, it don't really fucking matter, but you, she got low interest in you and that's fine. But if you do the alpha male scratches and tell you, you know, hold the masculine frame, pass the shit test, don't over pursue, this woman will get, will warm up to you. I'm telling you that right now. This woman will warm up to you. The girl that I, the, my Sunday piece of ass that comes over here now, 
on our first date, and that was before I, you know, this was when I was, you know, listening, uh, you know, this was, you know, because I, I figured out a lot of strategies myself. So I would, you know, I would do what the other dating coaches say. I would kiss on the first date and she go for the kiss on the first date. She kissed me like this on the first date. And now my dick in her mouth for an hour or two every fucking Sunday. All right. So if I would have went by that kissing expression and not raising her interest, I would have said, oh, she got low interest because she kissed me like a fish. She kissed me literally like this. When I went to kiss her, when we walked out the pool hall, she kissed me like this. That's how she kissed me, all right? Like she ain't want to. I knew I could raise her, her interest. I knew I, now I'm dick in her mouth for one or two hours every Sunday, all right? I never initiate contact. She calls me all, she texts me all through the week, asking me constantly, when can I call her? Shit like this here, my dick is in her mouth, my balls in her mouth uh, every fucking Sunday. I stopped making her lick my ass because she's proved her loyalty to me and she's very submissive to me or whatever the case. So I don't, I don't, I don't upgrade her from ass licking status to now it's just ball sucking status. So she'll just stay there. And the bottom line is I'm saying like this, guys, this was a girl that actually, I didn't knock her socks off on the first date. All right. But I knew how to raise her interest. You get what I'm saying? I had the game and the, and the, and the swag and I was on my purpose. I knew how to raise her interest. And now my dick is in her mouth for two hours every day on Sunday. Y'all get what I'm going. Okay, so don't worry about a girl not blown away by you on a first fucking date. I'm here to teach you guys how to fuck these bitches too, all right? And another thing you might get with these girls when you ask her what's her availability and shit like that, she might say some shit to the effect of, I might be able to do Friday. She might text you some shit like that, might be able to do Friday. Don't get emotional, don't get mad. Oh, I don't do, you. just text back, might with a question mark to let her know. I don't, you know, let them know. I don't understand what might mean. All right. Most times when I do that to a girl with low interest or whatever, they'll say, LOL, yeah, I'm free Friday or I'm free Saturday. All right. Yeah. So that's how you handle that might shit. When a girl say might or I, I cannot check, can I, uh, I might be able to. That's usually what you'll hear through the text. It's the word might. I always a text back might with a question mark. And I'll put parentheses around that shit. Look, what the hell is Mike? All right. So that's the bottom line with that, guys. So that's the bottom line with this video, guys. You got high interest text and you got low interest text. And like I teach, like I tell you guys, before you disqualify the low interest girls, the whole point of you over here is to fuck these bitches. All right, you gotta fuck up so bad to fuck up the low interest. And I'm teaching you guys now how not to lower these girls' interest too. But a girl that goes, guys, a girl who goes out, any girl that goes out on a date with you, she got somewhat interest in you. She's not an attention whore. Attention whore, you can't get on a date. Attention whore, you try to set dates and they call and text, but they want to go on. A, they won't go on a date. They just, hey, how your day going? It's going okay. You free? You free this weekend? Uh, can I get back with you? That's an attention whore. Attention whore, don't go on a date with you. She might see have very low interest in you, and you gotta raise it. But attention whores don't go on a date, guys. Attention whores, women that don't see you sexual appealing, don't want to be seen with you out in public. Do y'all, I mean, as a, as a date, all right? They'll say some shit like, you know, uh, they'll come up with every excuse in the book. They don't want to go on a date with you. A girl you go on a date with you, she might not have crazy high interest in you, but she got somewhat interest in you, and it's up to you to raise it, all right? And the point of alpha male strategies is we ain't over here just trying to fuck women that sees us as a nine or a ten. That's easy. Learn to fuck that bitch that sees you as a five. That's what I'm over here for. That's my job. All right, that's how you're going to fuck 50, 60, 70 women a year. You ain't going to fuck no fucking 50, 60 women a year, just fucking women that got high interest in you. All right? All right, guys, that's the text game. Don't double text these bitches with the low interest. Don't initiate contact even with the girls with high interest twice. Make sure she's doing 50% of the uh, initiating. But don't text her one time. And then she do all the fucking pursuing, she gonna lose interest. You gotta do some pursuing too. It's okay, but make statements, not conversation. Say, hey, uh, just checking to, you know, let you know, uh, tell you, I'm, uh, just checking to see how your day going or whatever. Have a productive day. I talk to you later. Make a statement. Don't ask a question. Hey, what you had for lunch? All right. Now, if she start that, then fine. You know, it's okay to go a little dialogue as long as you wait five to ten minutes in between texts, so you don't be too available. If she if the girl with high interest starts to just pour on the text, like say she's just texting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, slow down your fucking response time, all right? 
That's how you're going to kill that because she might start pouring it on. Slow down your response time. So if you got a girl that's got high interest, and the reason you want to slow it down is because now subconsciously, even though you're giving her what she want, subconsciously now you're too available, all right, so her interest can drop. So it's a, it gets to a point. So like say you be texting back and forth with a girl that got high interest, after two, after two or three times, slow down your response time. Go to go back to three, four hours. All right, after you don't initiate like three texts back and forth, slow down your response because now you finna start to seem too available. All right, so slow down your response time. You and you gonna have to learn how to do this with the girls who got crazy high interest. Slow down your response time, or you can be too available and you'll start slinging. They text gonna start getting shorter, or they gonna stop initiating contact because you lowered their interest because the bitches are stupid. All right. On one hand, they want your attention, and then if you give them too much, they lose interest. All right. The bitches are stupid. I told you guys that. They don't know what the fuck they want. All right. They just fucking backwards as hell. All right, guys. So that's the end of that. Uh, make sure you follow these strategies. Learn how to fuck the bitches that got low interest too, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what y'all want to see next. Holla back.